using VR as a medium can bring your viewer into a particular story. It sort of gives you this incredible opportunity to either bring your audience into a space that they wouldn't normally be, or to bring a character into to the audience's world. I always say that VR filmmaking isn't storytelling, it's story living. I'm Mary Matheson, I'm a VR director, and today we're shooting with the Canon EOS R5 paired with the RF 5.2mm f 2.8L dual fisheye lens. When we're looking for a story to tell in VR, we're really looking for something where we're going to be able to use the, you know, the space and, and the, this incredible frame that we're going to have. Grandmaster Sken has an incredible story. His father was, was killed when he was a young boy and he ended up being mentored by this Buddhist monk. And he grew up uh, in this temple with a Buddhist monk and ended up using Mai Tai fighting as a way to survive um, economically, but also to pay for his own education. He went to university and now he's sort of worked his way up um, to become this Grand Master. I knew that this would be really brilliant in VR because I knew that we could use the, the full frame that we'd have with 180 to sort of show off the kicks that he can do, the punches, I mean, they sort of fly through the air. I work really closely with Richard, who's my DOP on most of my projects. What we usually do is I come up with a, a crazy idea and then he tries to help me work it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard Stegman and I'm a DOP in the VR sphere. Mary and I have worked on a number of projects together in some amazing uh, places, telling amazing stories. We've chosen three different locations to tell Master Scan's story. The first one was this, this forest, which um, we knew was going to give us incredible colour um, and also incredible detail with the, the green moss and the leaves. But then we also chose the gym because we wanted to use the 180 degree VR to get really up close and personal with the fighters as they were fighting. So the third location was this incredible gymnasium where he was teaching young people how to do Mai Tai. Working in 180 provides us with a lot more of ease in terms of grip capabilities because we have half the sphere to, to hide away in. With 360, for example, we often have to, as directors or, or DOPs, we have to hide from the setting completely. The thing that excites me most about 180 VR is um, the fact that we can film observational documentary in a much more natural way. Shooting a stereoscopic image gives the viewer a far more immersive experience because it's natural. We all have two eyes. We all see things with depth and providing that information to the viewer enhances the experience. Traditionally, shooting stereoscopic uh, VR material uh, can be quite complex, and we also have issues with coming very close to the camera. Now, with the dual lens from Canon, we're able to come as close as 20 centimeters to the camera. You can literally see the three dimensions of very close-up objects. So for me, that's, that's what sort of gives your audience the sense of feeling that they're right in that scene. The dual fisheye lens from Canon provides us with an opportunity to get, in a very compact form factor, the ability to capture stereo imagery onto a single sensor, giving us one file that's perfectly in sync, which is amazing when, when, when one's working with stereo information because if, if there's any kind of sync issues between those two shots, you have a, a lot of tr trouble further down the line in post-production. Not only is this a, an amazing stereoscopic lens, but it's also very fast, it's 2.8, which gives us the ability to work in low light conditions. Obviously coupled with the R5's full frame sensor, it gives us amazing performance. Canon have tackled this with a complete ecosystem. From the dual lens capture, to the full frame of the R5, to using the, the EOS VR utility, which takes into account all the metadata that's captured and provides us with an amazing picture that we can then bring into uh, post-production. In brighter conditions, there is ability to put in ND filters on the rear of the lens, covering those bases as well. Another great thing about this system is that we can use the EOS utility to view the equirectangular projection in real time. 
I've been using the Canon Camera Connect to monitor the images in a way that has just really helped me to work at a much faster rate. I've really loved working with Scan. He was such a, a gracious person to work with and incredibly giving, but I also loved playing with 180 degree VR and showing off both what he can do as well as what this lens can do. Canon, delighting you always.